is going on guys welcome to a brand new video welcome back to the channel it's dev we're here mr robot glad to be back we are like right there with a thousand subscribers ladies and gentlemen so first before we get into it if we've hit it by the time this video uploads thank you for a thousand if i haven't then let's get to a thousand if you're new here subscribe uh we're, we're, we're making big things. We're doing big things. But um, I want you to ask me some questions. Any questions you have, whether it be just a robot, um, like how I feel about it and like certain things, um, my life. Not like too much. I'm not going to answer like crazy shit, but, you know, simple, great, not crazy. Uh, my favorite shows, movies, thoughts about s specific sorts of media social media politics i'm political andy i like politics that's why i like this show this show has a lot of things the human psyche the the the, the political landscape just society as a whole and the, the human mind of course um and whatever you want to ask me just a simple q a and i'll do it right here on this channel once we hit a thousand subscribers so do it now all right, ask me a question, and then follow it up with whatever you have to comment about the video. If you do comment, the people who do comment regularly, I appreciate you. You're pretty chill. Um, but last on, Mr. Robot. Shit's getting interesting. Shit's getting interesting. I think we got Tyrell. I think he's back. I think, I think it's time. I think it's time we finally see the man. I've missed him. As kind of bad of a person he was, I missed him. And I think that might be because of the actor. Because the actor was really good. And he's really hot. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Angela tried to go to the, the, radio, the radiation, whoever, the nuclear people. National nuclear, whatever it is. Um, went to them, didn't work out. Shit was, like, sketchy. Um, yeah. Brownouts all around town, the FBI. It, shit's getting sketch, and it's it's not going to go well, but... Oh, man. I'm excited to see what happens, and let's... You know, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into my favorite show at the moment. I think out of every single show that I've been watching, Mr. Robot is the favorite. The Boys has been getting up there. The Boys could be my favorite, but Mr. Robot right now... I bet once it's all over, I'm probably going to rank it an S-tier show. At the moment, I'm going to put A just because I haven't finished it. But once I finish it, it, it it'll probably be S-tier. It just depends on how it ends. I've heard the ending. Like, I have no idea how it ends. I've just heard, like, what somebody said, good or bad, and I've heard it's a mix. A friend of mine said that his either teacher or something like that said the ending was shit. Um, other than that, I don't fucking know. I have zero clue. I've heard also great things. I've heard season four. I've heard season four is great, but I've also heard season four is overhyped. I don't want to get too much into it just because I don't want to get spoiled. So I don't really like looking at shit like that. Thankfully, like my TikTok algorithm isn't full of Mr. Robot. That's uh, that's a very good thing. Uh, for sure. For sure. I know I've been talking for a while. I know I have, and I apologize. I just like talking, and this is the perfect time to talk. Um... Yeah, what's going to happen, man? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm excited to see what happens. Season 2, episode 10. We're almost to the finale. I think we got, what, this episode and two more left. Get into it. In 3, 2, 1. Am I the most powerful person in the room? The answer needed to be yes. Oh, God. To this day, I still ask that question. And the answer is still yes. In every room in the entire world, that drives me. I intend to leave a legacy, the standard of which was set by God. Oh my God. Unless it's not worth mentioning. I love the brutal honesty of Price here. It's horrible. Oh. Oh. No, 
no idea what they're saying, but it goes hard. It's fire as fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I love metal. Metal goes hard, and no matter what genre, like what country, Ukrainian metal's fire. Why isn't she saying anything? <laughs> Is she trying to get inside my head? I still feel like she can hear us. Oh. I feel like you can see me. <laughs> you're being honest this time. But you're gonna find him for me. Oh, gee. Tyrell would always do what was necessary. And at the end of that, I would Dude, the there. radio, dude. I It makes me feel like I'm crazy. That's why he's been calling me. It's, it just sounds like the voices. Do you really want to say no to me? Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, where did he come from? I found him gasping on the couch. And you brought him here. Oh, okay. I have a tracker on him or a bug. Oh, fuck, dude. Jesus. That's not okay. I can't risk him talking. And what? He knew what he was getting himself in. Oh, no. If we don't get him help right now, he's going to die. How does that not compute for you? Our focus is finding Trenton and Mobley. Time to drop this charade like this was all part of the plan and wake the fuck up. Damn. He's not wrong. You could justify letting him die. True. What happened to him, though? Did he just get his, like, ass kicked? One got away, the rest were apprehended. This is where they were supposed to meet. Owner's an E-Corp lawyer. Supposed to be on vacation, starting to look more like she's missing. I'm sorry, Hannah. I'm sorry. She and her body does not exist on this world anymore. It's done, Chuck. Reduced to atoms. The guy, why did we burn the house? How come we didn't put surveillance on him? What was the thought process here? You know, Director Comey's taken a more aggressive strategy on everything ever since the shit hit the fan over that video. She seems so calm about it, but Dom is like really confused. She's like, this whole operation has been dog shit. The FBI, <laughs> they're so bad. Is this the future I was fighting for? Hmm. The system is hung. Your apartment. Cops confiscated everything. It'll be weeks before I can get it back. If you want this done tonight, I need hardware. I go to a classic micro center. I don't think we have one in my my town. No, we don't. No currency regulated by Evil Corp. The hypocrisy isn't surprising. A special Evil Corp discount if we use their new money. If you ever needed a sign that our work is not done yet, this is it. Yep. Yep. That guy's just playing fucking. Wait, what is that? Is that? Saints Row or is that GTA? I don't think that was. Um, it's the one Joanna gave me. Hello. Tell me you heard that too. It can't be him, can it? And why is Mr. Robot suddenly gone? Ooh, that was creepy. Ooh, that was creepy. Oh. It's always been him. When I was five, our parents took us to Coney Island. It was my dad's idea of an Alderson family outing. What are you doing? Making a high-powered antenna. I need to piggyback off someone else's Wi-Fi. Is it done? 
Not yet. I need a few minutes for the spoof facts to go through. I don't use this facts anymore, except cops. I don't know in 2022 if they still do, but they probably do. Before working for the Wellicks, I had a list of clients, all of them eccentric in one form or another. I worked for this one guy who used to masturbate in the car. Focusing on you helps drown him out. Like talking to someone in a crowded restaurant. All the other voices and noises fade into the background. <laughs> Somehow your brain is able to decode the components of that complex auditory space. Can you feel it? Yeah. Is Mr. Robot MIA because he's afraid? Afraid of what I might find when I'm done with this hack? Why did that phone call freak him out? He's been bringing it up since we left prison. Can you help? Oh, this is this is cool. Do you see anything? <laughs> Dude, this is cool. <laughs> Very immersive. And now they're moving to the next. Interesting. Yes, the next step. You know what the next step is? Blackouts. Why? So they can take away your power. And I am not talking about your electricity. Talking about your computers, your access to the internet, your television, your phone. You've been a huge help. I'll call you if there's something else. Got it. Him? This is Dom. Dude, this episode is so tense, dude. The music and everything, it's just been... Francis Shaw. saw the bolo he's freaking out probably hiding it might take some time but we'll get him angela yay I haven't seen her bruh i didn't want to involve you FBI agent came to my place. Look, let's just sit here and chill a minute. All right, we'll come up with something. Sometimes the best decision is not making one. It's okay. You didn't do anything wrong. I'm just trying to figure something out. It's probably because Janice turns it to the news when her shift starts. Dude, I love this of Dom just trying to figure it out. It's so good. I will fix I'm going to confess. I've already called my lawyer. I'm on my way to meet her now. I can't keep pretending like this is going to go away. Uh... I would never involve any of you, so I'm just going to own up for what I did. But sooner or later, Elliot, this will all catch up to you. Fuck. We have to talk to each other on the subway. It's a long way from getting high and watching Back to the Future, too. Yeah, we never did get around to doing that. Whatever he is, you can't work with him. Don't shrink yourself into thinking that. Fuck. Where would I go? There's nothing around here. I'm gonna go over like five blocks. Still the place is open over there. Dude, I love this. Dude, this is so good.
What is this phase shit, dude? Dude, if she, dude, if she confesses, she's not gonna survive. The music that's been playing for like the last 20 minutes has been incredible. Send all units to Watson 6F. Oh, fuck, here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Holy shit. That was another banger of an episode. Holy shit. The pace the pacing of it was incredible. That was so well. That was peak television. Again. <laughs> it's so many. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That is what I'm fucking talking about. God, it's so good, dude. So fucking good. From the beginning scene with Price and Terry Colby to the end with Don... That, that's just one standing shot. Simple. The show so much in one singular shot. Just a tripod mounted, just... Ugh. The music that was going on, that synth or whatever it was that was going on for like the last like 30 minutes of the episode, that just kept everything so suspenseful, or 20 minutes maybe, but just kept everything so suspenseful and you're asking questions like, wait, what, who, how, he is alive? Where is Tyrell Wellick? And I think my theory is continuing to be questioned you know my original theory for tyrell was that tyrell isn't real tyrell has been elliot that's who that is the reason mr robot keeps disappearing or not or just avoiding the whole situation is he doesn't want elliot to know that it's it, it's going horribly I love Elliot. I mean, kind of having the realization that, I mean, this is all me. I'm the one who's, who led all these people into these specific situations. Like, it... Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my... Oh, that scene with him and Angela might have been one of my favorite scenes in the whole show. I mean, that just whole sequence there. Angela, Dom, um, uh, Darlene, Cisco. Like, it's it's perfect. Just the back and forth between it, the pacing, the music... The, the, the kiss, the hug, I mean, I just, oh, something bad is going to happen to her. Who are those two people? Who are those two people? Like, what in the actual, actual shit? The Dark Army. They seem to not be able to get shit done. <laughs> Whenever they want to go kill somebody, from what we've seen, it just doesn't seem to work. She's tried to kill, they've tried to kill Dom twice. Not going to happen. She's just a bad bitch. I don't like the FBI, but I like her. Um, did Cisco and Darlene make it out, or did they get shot and die? I would assume that they survived and they dipped as soon as that happened. Actually, let me see. I mean, that one shot probably showed us if they got up. I mean, there's no reason why it wouldn't. Uh, 
I it looks like Cisco got shot right in the face. I don't know if Darlene did. But that didn't look good. That didn't look good. I would say Darlene's okay. I think Cisco did get shot. I mean, the way it looked. I'm sorry, I gotta keep looking. He, mu he most definitely did. He most definitely got shot. There's no way. It looked like he got shot in the face. Now, it's it's it. That's there's the 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 trickery here is the fucking ketchup bottles. <laughs> that's the trick. Because it looks like blood splattering all over the place, and and Dom does have red stuff. Is it blood or is it the ketchup? <laughs> like, dude, this. Imagine watching this week to week and being like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> this is so good this is peak television right here and it's only season two there's i got two more seasons peak i mean to be fair lost and it's first like three seasons was peak season four was great season five and uh, now season five was peak season six was peak i'm sorry i don't give a fuck i'm not gonna talk about lost though <laughs> um but this dude oh my goodness and just the editing, the odd, the sounds, dude. The scene with him or with Elliot and Joanna, that radio that was on. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I know I'm not crazy. I know I'm not. But, 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 and I can relate. Just the way that scene sounded. Sometimes I unironically feel like that when I'm in a quiet, like, like if I'm in, alone in the bathroom. Whatever those noises were, I, the, 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 I recognized it. I don't know if... I don't know. <laughs> but I, I recognize it. And it's terrifying. It hurts, too. I mean, it doesn't physically hurt, but it's just like... <laughs> the voices! The voices! I'm not crazy, though. <laughs> I shouldn't be joking about that, but... I, I'm I'm being honest. I am not. Um, like I don't have a Mr. Robot in my life. Maybe I do, and I just don't know. Maybe there's there is one person that just isn't real. In this whole time, they have never been real. That would suck. I've gone through that thought process. It's not a fun thought process. Right now, I'm just doing it for the content. Like I'm just talking to you guys. I'm not like being inherently serious. You know, this it's for the content. I just want to reiterate that. Okay. Okay, I just want to reiterate that. Um, but I can re like there's a hint of truth. The 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 sounds thing that's true. But I I don't have a Mr. Robot. I don't love the scene like the whole m the kiss moment. But there's something within that bus that's interesting. The the phase and then the audio for discerning listeners or whatever it is. Is there some sort of audio wave or some sort of like if you reverse something in this episode? Maybe within the radio, what I was saying, there's something maybe being said within those voices or just the static that's happening. Or the phone call with the breathing. Man, this is fun. Mm. 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 Or is it, I mean, uh, you had the one last week. There was, there was a, uh, there was another poster above her last week. In that episode, in episode uh, nine, and it was like mentioning that she was like bugged and like yes, the FBI, Dom Winter, all that. So what does this mean? We're entering like like what what is happening? It's so good, it's so good. I lo I love this show, dude. It's oh, it's one of a kind. A lot of things though that I feel like. I don't know if I can believe or not, you know what I mean? Because we have seen Mr. Robot alter Elliot's perception of reality and what can what's true and not to be true. And he's lied to him multiple times. 
And what I'm feeling is a lot of the stuff that's happening, especially the things that we see with Ellie on screen, from what we're seeing, are not true. Elliot wants us to trust him. Us, the viewer, in his imaginary, you know. Crazy. Literally. <laughs> but, I mean, like, with the whole Tyrell thing, I just, I don't know what to believe. Is Tyrell, I mean, I obviously Tyrell's not dead. I don't think that's the case, but it, it, it's not a case if he's dead. It's a case if he's real. It's what I've been saying. Is Tyrell Wellick real? And I don't know. <laughs> I'm still going with that maybe, just maybe, that Tyrell is Elliot, if that makes sense. Obviously, the ones who have seen the show in full would probably, it would probably, you'd be looking at me like, you know, what are you saying? Or no, it would maybe make sense to you. I don't know. But I have this feeling that Tyrell... Joanna, don't know. <laughs> I, I'm going to watch the next episode right after this, so. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, just another great episode. A lot of probably hidden things, like obviously with audio shit that they've mentioned with literally a poster. That's supposed to be there. There's a reason for it. A bunch of other shit. Obviously, is Darlene dead? Is Cisco dead? Obviously, Dom survived, but the other two, I didn't see them run and get up. <sighs> I don't know, but I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please like, favorite, subscribe, hit the notification bell for daily videos every single day. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and Instagram, and all the social media is down in the description below. We'll catch ya for another video. Goodbye!